Okay. Okay. So today I'm going to show you uh, the trade foot lock, but it's like the next generation. I mean, my team is going to use this when we won the worlds at only 14 seconds. And this is one of my go-to slot machine when I was a white belt and also a blue belt. So usually the trade foot locks look like this. Right? You want to bend the foot like this. I press the foot. Then usually we put it like this, and using this formation, leg and leg open, the single leg X, I'm just gonna put my shoulder on the mat and just extend. As you can see, it works, but there is a faster way to do it, which is like a straight foot lock, but it is actually a heel hook, and if the referee does not see it, it is still legal in white belt. So what, what I'm doing is, People usually put the knee, the ankle on the wrist like this, right? But what I'm doing, what my team is doing, is he's going to push a little bit here, so that the heel is on my ribs. So this is like an outside, an inside heel hook. This is like an inside heel hook, but I'm doing it on this side. Now, depending on your moral and ethics, if you want to hide it from the referee by passing your hand to the lapel, and you can actually finish it from here. See, it's, it's, he feels it on his knee. It's very fast, it's very fast and it's very dangerous. And the way that Mikey do it is not by using this kind of leg entanglement, but he's using what is called the outside ashi. Because he needed space to put the heel here, and this hand, usually the guy defending straight foot lock will try to pull my 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 collar like this. Usually he's going to try to pull the collar, so this squid can kick his chest, and I can adjust the foot lock. I'm going to drop here. Look, I'm going to drop here, and I'm going to extend. Okay. The next variation is you go here. Here, I'm going to do it slow. I'm going to go belly down. And I'm going to, and I'm going to uh, put all my weight, my, my hip, on his knee. That's the nasty look. Okay, so, sometimes when you already, your opponents already know, because I did this a lot to my, my training partners when I was a blue belt. They start to know that this is my bullshit, so they. So the fight is always, always starts here. This, the, this is the fight. So when you when you don't have the deep enough uh, foot lock formation here, you don't have, you cannot have the heel here right away. It's okay. Just get it. Just get it shallow like this. But the, why my Kim Musumeji love the outside ashi more than this? Because this formation allows me go to the belly down right away like this and from here then I just adjust again this is not this is not deep the foot locks not deep now I'm just gonna adjust adjust this and foot locks now deep okay uh, be careful when practicing this because this is practically a heel hook this is a heel hook Muhammad Ali, uh, I think Victor Hugo used it on Muhammad Ali in the Grand Prix and Ali was like Heel hook me, but the ref did not see it. But it's a heel hook, but you can hide it as a straight foot lock. That's kind of asshole. But whatever. Us. Us.